fellow users of the internet, which is probably a lot of you guys out there. But this video is going to teach you how to um, do eight tricks on your iPod Touch slash iPhone, whatever Apple device you have. My f our first is letter search. Go to a long list. For instance, contacts. If it takes you a long time to scroll down and everything, well, it's not really a problem with um, letter search. You see these letters right here? Right there. If you put your, your finger on them and slide up and down, it can make going through all that a lot easier. Um, if you hear that in the background, it's my dad watching a football game. Next one, screen photos, etc. out of context. Now, this isn't taking photos on your iPod Touch. It's actually taking screen photos, literally. Like, if you go to anything, like if you want to take a screen photo for your home screen or something, anything on your web, anything you can think of. You press the sleep and wake button and the home button right there. And you press them simultaneously. Watch this. I just took a picture of my home screen. Now all the screen photos that you take um, are saved in photos right here. These are all the screen photos that I've taken. Um, and you know what's good about these screen photos? Um, you can actually make them your screensaver. They're also in wallpaper right here in settings. Wallpaper. Choose saved photos. set yeah well it's charging of course but see if I unplug it just a sec if I unplug it and turn it off then there's my screensaver see slide to unlock um now, power off is the next thing that you can do. Now, most people, unless you're an Apple expert, uh, think that the little black thing on top, the way to turn it off, is actually sleep and wake mode, which is just pressing this thing. But you can just press the home button, turns back on. But um, if you hold this down, for about five seconds, the slides power off sc screen will appear. Now, it, it turns all the way off if you slide it, but I'm not going to do that because it would take a lot of time in the video to, for it to power all the way back on because it's the Apple logo for 60 seconds. Now, long apps. You have a lot of apps and you want, just want to get your home screen. But if you have, a, I don't have that much, but if you have a lot, it takes you forever to get to your home screen. Well, say you're right here, press the home button and it automatically goes to your home screen. Again. You. No. Next thing. Auto lock settings. Auto lock is in general. Just press the auto lock button. And auto lock is if you put it in your pocket and leave it, the screen automatically goes dark and then goes into sleep. But if you press 
like mine is after one minute it will automatically turn off if I don't touch it you can make it two minutes three minutes four four minutes five minutes or just never turn off that is the magic of mm, auto lock yeah okay high speed scrubbing if you like to listen to music and you like to get to a certain part will go to music and go to a certain song for instance like no not one direction how about this if you if you want to get to a certain part press the little dot that's moving right here and high speed scrubbing move your finger along and if it's like late in the song when it's about to end, go to right here, or it's like in the middle, or like that. That is high speed scrubbing. Syncing. Syncing is where you take your mobile device and you update it, or you set it up, for instance. Um, just take a charger, any like charger, and just a sec. Ah! Well, these are kind of tangled right now. But if you plug it in to your device, and then plug the other end of it into your this end of it into your laptop it can charge and sync at the same time and the sync in progress sign will appear and it will charge your mobile device now that's I prefer that you charge it by laptop because um, most people use outlets but the charger isn't in the shape for an outlet so one of these that you can plug in so you can do an outlet can cost a lot of money <laughs> I mean I'm telling you my mom bought one but that is one of the last tricks I'm going to show you today. The last thing I want to show you today is shake to shuffle settings. Shake to shuffle is when you're on music and you want to shuffle your songs, like go to a different song. So I'm on settings and go to music. Shake to shuffle is if do you want to shuffle your songs, but you don't want to go all the way, and if you're just rocking out and you don't want, well, shake to shuffle is right here, and if you turn that on, shake to shuffle. Then when you're listening to music, see it's on now. When you're listening to music, then if you shake your mobile device then <clears throat> the it will automatically come on now I don't have a lot of albums it's just singles so I'm gonna do just um, Rocketeer or something yeah so shake to shuffle is on Shake it. See, I shook it and it went to Kenny Chesney. Just shake it and it will do it for you. One last trick. If you go right here, that little blue thing right there by the um, music count is repeat. If you want to listen to the same song over again, press that and it will turn white. And this is the like 
that is if you don't want to repeat, sorry. And this is repeat. So if you click on this and you want to repeat, a number, a number one will come on it. It's kind of blurry probably. But like I said, number one. Thanks guys. Hope you'll watch more of my videos. Later, Raid.